Hi guys and welcome back to our Rebuilding Sunderland 2.0 career mode. Now, in the last episode, I asked you guys uh, what you think we should do for the remaining games of the season. There are eight games left, we're currently five points clear. And I said to you guys, should we still play two or three games and then simulate a few games and just see where that leaves us? But obviously we don't seem like we're going to lose at the minute. Uh, simulating was kind of on our side, we did get the occasional loss but we are doing really well when we are playing the games. So I've read through all your comments and pretty much 100% are in favour of simulating a lot or there's a mixed bag of how we should simulate. Some of you guys have said to simulate the entire season. Some of you guys have said to simulate up until the point where you could potentially win the league and then play that game. And some of you guys have said just to simulate until the last game and then just play the last game of the season. So I'm going to try and meet you a little bit halfway there. And I am going to simulate the rest of the games, but play the last and final game of the season. Because, to be fair, I would probably try and like to work out what game it would be where we could potentially win the league. But if you guys have uh, been following the channel for a while now, I don't think I'm that bad at maths. But when it comes to working out the league table and when we could or maybe couldn't win the league, I've been it's been horrendous. I think there was times in the first rebuild in Sunderland career mode where we'd actually already won the league. Or there was times where I thought we had won the league and I was celebrating and literally two seconds later I realised we still need to win like another two games. So that is the way it is going to go guys. Also there was a comment, I have to mention this because it was a very good suggestion uh, for me to use sliders. The only thing with sliders which I did reply uh, to the comment is I have tried it in the past and it, I find it very difficult to find a decent balance with sliders. The difficulty is already on legendary. You can't go any higher than that in career mode, unfortunately. I know in ultimate uh, team you can go up to ultimate, I think. But with sliders, I always end up either making my, my team almost unplayable to the point where we can't string a pass together or it makes it so every opposition plays like Barcelona. But in this final game of the season, what I am going to play... I might adjust the sliders, but only the tiniest bit. Maybe just to make... Maybe not touch how we play, but touch how the opposition play. Maybe just increase their passing and shooting maybe a, a little bit. Because I, I really don't like sliders either way. Um, because I feel like you can just break the game and make things a bit too unrealistic. But I will try it out and we'll just see how it goes. So I am going to simulate the rest of these games up until the Wolves game, last game of the season... So I shall see you in just a second. So guys, I have simulated all of the games. I haven't looked at any of the results yet. In fact, I'm not going to lie. I saw the Derby one because I went back to it. I haven't seen any of the other results. I haven't seen the league table yet. So this could be quite exciting. I'm hoping myself that we have dropped to the playoffs. I think that would make a very interesting episode. If we have got into the playoffs, then... I would probably simulate the last game of the season and then just play the playoffs. Obviously, if we're definitely only in the playoffs and we can't win the league, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, let's have a look at the uh, results that have uh, took place. So we did lose to Derby 2-0, which is a good start if we do want the playoffs. And next up, we took on Chef Wednesday and drew 0-0. So we have been dropping points. And then we went to Leeds and won 3 Nil, and then we had Norwich and lost 2 0. This is looking okay if we do want a playoff spot because it hasn't really been in our favour, has it? We drew one all at Reading, that is more points dropped. Watches now, we won't even get in the playoffs, which again, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I have said that I do want another season in the Championship. And next up, oh, it's this one, I don't even really want to talk about this one, but we did draw one all with Burton, and then Fulham, we won 3 0, which leaves us with just the Wolves game. So, let's have a look to see where we are in the league. And we have been promoted, guys. We have. We finished second in the league. But we are taking on Wolves now, who we can't catch up with them regardless. We are about to take on. It is first versus second, but our goal difference is superiorly. Superiorly, is that a word? It is massively inferior to their goal difference. So it's not quite worked out the way I wanted it to. I would have liked a playoff spot. Why couldn't we have just lost another couple of games? But we have been promoted. We are going to have to deal with it, guys. I should be celebrating, really. But we are going to be going to the Premier League with our youth squad, pretty much. But for now, I am going to adjust the sliders. I'll just quickly do this training. So I would like to see you guys see what I am going to do with the sliders. Obviously, it's on legendary. It's four minutes a half. I've always done that. 
So for the CPU, I'll keep the sprint speed as the same because that's just the way it's supposed to be. There's no point in doing that. Shot error, we will reduce that by five. The pass error, we'll reduce that by five. It might not even make that much of a difference, but like I say, I've quite considerably changed things in the past and it just it's just an absolute mess. Shot speed, I'll leave that as it is. Pass speed, I could increase that, I suppose, but again, I'm just really worried about things. <laughs> I don't want to make an absolute mess of it. Uh, the goalkeeper ability, we shall improve it uh, by five. So I, I know, again, I know it's not much. Marking increases how tightly they are. I shouldn't really touch that, I wouldn't think. All that. Line height, that's just the way the computer plays. It's not necessarily affecting how good they are, I suppose. The first touch control error. I will reduce that, the error amount by five as well. So yeah, it is only a tiny bit. If you guys have any suggestions on what to do with sliders, then let me know. I don't want to do anything too drastic to make it game-breaking, but just let me know if you guys use sliders as well. If you do, that would be uh, really interesting to see, and if any of them fit, I will kind of try maybe a couple of games off-camera with different sliders and then maybe change it for when we are in the Premier League. But for now, let's get into this game against Wolves. It is the last game of the season. We're playing the champions. Can we get ourselves a win? Let's do this. And here we are, guys, at the stage of my life, welcoming champions Wolves. A bit like real life, obviously, Wolves did win the league. Congratulations to them. But we are currently Sunderland in a position where it's nothing like real life. So I suppose we can take a bit of a positive in that. And we are off. Again, we can't. The only way we could really win the league is if we won 6 or 7 nil, which I can't see happening. Now let's see if these sliders do make a bit of a difference. And they are coming down the right straight away. They've whipped a ball in. Get it away. That'll do for now. Go on. Go on, Sancho. He has made the overlapping run. It is Sancho. Go on. Drive across goal. And that is horrendous, son. Absolutely horrendous. Go on, Brereton. Go on, Brereton. Have a crack, son. And it's... Hit the side netting. It looks like we're kind of all over them at the minute, guys. But the sliders that we did use, it's more for when they are on the ball. And you can definitely tell the difference there. They hold on to it a lot better than they did previously. I'm still confident of us getting the win now. And it is still Foden. Have a crack, son. It's took a deflection and gone wide. This is the thing, though, with sliders now where they're passing. Even though I only changed it by a five, I think. No passes are going astray at all unless it's just a cross that's whipped in or something like that. But no passing at all has gone loose like that one there. Go on, Sancho. Go on, Sancho. You're faster than him. You're faster than him. That's it, lad. Keep driving. Keep driving. Get it across. Goal, he does. And what a save at the near post there from Brereton's effort. Oh, that's lovely there by Davies. And it's a brilliant save. Go on, Foden. He does find his man. It's Brereton. Dinks it over the keeper. And it's a beautiful finish. It is 1 0 early in the second half. Brereton, you little genius, son. We have definitely, definitely deserved this. I know I was talking about the sliders. But I just think this team is too stacked for this league. But in the Premier League, there's going to be a lot of teams that are a lot better than us. Like I said, Wolves, when they're on the ball, they've been really difficult to get the ball off. But when we do get the ball off them, we just have too much quality for them. And as you can see, that is an incredible finish from Brereton. And we are in the lead against the champions. Well in Brereton. Foden, make your own. Give it back to Brereton. They're linking up so well, these two. And, oh, they're defending nearly lobbed his own keepy. Go on, Davies. Go on, Davies. Find your man. He tries to, but he's still got the ball, Davies. He's still going. Davies! It's a beautiful, beautiful goal. He's wrestled through. The Wolves defence single-handedly and just last one past Ruddy and he's doubled our lead. Gone past one. There's two. He's basically megged him there. Keeps going wrestling past the defenders and he's just lashed it in. And that is his third goal of the season. Now they are bombing down this right-hand side. Wolves, get it out. See, that's the only time where their passes go wrong when they're actually crossing it. There's a few times where they've crossed the ball in now and obviously we've managed to get it away but if they're just playing normally they're not losing the ball but here is Alfonso again it is Alfonso I don't know why I've just done that I don't know why I did that <laughs> that was so stupid get it away see what I mean little cheeky passes like that and is that their first shot of the game I think it might just be and there goes a the full time whistle guys it was the perfect performance we just limited Wolves to very very little shots and very little possession around our area 
and in our half. But Wolves are champions. I'm pretty sure anyway. I hope I haven't somehow miscalculated that. But I think I'm pretty sure Wolves are champions and we have finished runners-up in the league. So there is the final league table, guys. We are level on points with Wolves, but they do have 10 goal better goal difference. Derby, Hull, Nottingham Forest and Sheffield Wednesday make up their playoff places with Aston Villa just missing out. Three goal difference in seventh place. And going down, we have Barnsley, Reading and Burton. Burton. So guys, this is the end of the season. So what I'll do before we go is we'll run through the team, see how much they've improved. And then you guys, I know it's been another pretty short episode, but we have been promoted. There's nothing else we can do. You guys in the comments obviously leave who you think uh, we should sign, who you think we should maybe send out on loan. And then we can bring other players in. Because next season, remember, the transfer budgets, they're awful on FIFA. They just don't seem to understand that you are supposed to get a big bulky payment when you do go up or when you go down. They just kind of give you the same every season regardless. So I'm imagining we'll probably have about 9 or 10 million next season. And we also already have a pretty stacked squad full of youth. Uh, anyway, so yeah, let's let's get into it and let's see how our players have improved. So we have Joel Pereira, who has improved by 8 this season, which is absolutely insane. He's now rated 79. I'll just ignore these players who I don't really care about, Steele and Sturzek. We have Unai Simone, who we brought in January. He has only improved by 1. He's unhappy because he wanted a, an important squad role, but he's not getting the game time. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Reuter doesn't really matter. Uh, Dujon Sterling is improved by three since bringing him. He's now rated 67. Montiel has improved by four, now rated 73. Donald Love has improved by one, now rated 63. Martinez Quarter, who is currently out injured for another five weeks, he's improved by one. Kalaika has improved by five, which is absolutely fantastic. At centre back, he's now rated 75. Jake Clark Salt, who's currently out on loan at Leeds, has gone up by one, now rated 65. We have Decore who has gone up by 3, now rated 67. We have Dale Fry, who's gone up by 1, now rated 70. Roshan Williams has gone up by 7, now rated 71. Cucharella has gone up by 5, now rated 74. Riveros has gone up by 2, now rated 71. Philip Billing, also known as Rainbowhead, has gone up by 4, now rated 71. Tyler Adams is now rated 72, he's gone up by 3. Paddy McNair has gone up by 2, now rated 72. Caligari, Lorenzo Caligari, has gone up by 1, now rated 66. Pablo Fernandez also gone up by 1, rated 69. Honeyman gone up by 1, now rated 67. I feel like I'm reading like the football scores on Gillette Soccer Saturday here on BBC or whatever. Robson, who is out on loan, has gone up by 1, now rated 60. Andre Dizel also going up by 1, now rated 67. Elliot Embleton has gone up by 3, rated 59. Alfonso Davies has gone up by 2, rated 71. Woodburn has gone up by 1, now rated 68. Gribbin also going up by 1, now rated 67. Angel Gomez, another one who's gone up by 1, sorry, uh, rated 67. Gooch has gone up by 2, rated 68. And Phil Foden has gone up by 2, rated 71. Edward Nikita has gone up by 2, rated 65. Osoro has gone up by 4, rated 67. Madger also gone up by 4, rated 66. Breverton has gone up by 4 as well, rated 72. And Sancho, Jaden Sancho, has gone up by 2, rated 69. And now for the top goal scorers in the league, I honestly thought that Breverton would be in here, but it doesn't look like he's there at all i'm sure he got like 15 goals this season but obviously not but asoro did get us 13 goals i did use him quite a lot in simulated games to give him game time so that is kind of understandable i suppose in terms of assists we have foden who got himself nine assists and he only joined us in january as well which is absolutely insane he's been a brilliant brilliant player uh breverton did get himself uh six assists though and Pereira got himself 16 clean sheets he was third Oh, sorry, fourth in the uh, clean sheet table. So let's take a quick look through the cup competitions. Manchester United did win the FA Cup with a 3-1 win over Arsenal. And Spurs won the Carabao Cup, winning 3-0 in the final against Bournemouth. And it is currently between Chef Wednesday and Nottingham Forest as to who's going to win the playoff final uh, to go into the Premier League. So we'll have to see 
uh, in the next episode who is going to be going up, either Chef Wednesday or Forrest. So that is that, guys. I'm not going to lie. I kind of hoped that we did go in the playoffs. Then we had a big episode doing the playoffs. But we are going to have to deal with it. We've gone to the Premier League. We've got to the Premier League. We have a huge bunch of promising players in our squad. I'm still not really interested in experienced players at all. That just isn't what I want this series to be about. I want it to be about youth players who, you know, not everybody uses, you know, like a Yori Thielmans, uh, players like that. Those are the kind of players that everyone seems to buy. And also players that I've bought in previous career modes. I'm trying to stay clear away from. So if you have enjoyed the first season in our rebuilding Sunderland 2.0 career mode, please smash that like button for me. It would be massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. The channel's Instagram account is in the description below, so be sure to follow that for early updates and upcoming content. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.